Hello everyone, this is Bhushan back again with another video. In our previous lecture, we have created a Java FX project and also we have set up our database. In this lecture, let's write our connection code. If you remember, in our previous lecture, we have created a file called dbutil inside our util package. Let me open that dbutil file. So inside this class, we will write our connection code. So to connect to a database, we need a JDBC driver. In our case, the database is MySQL. So we need a MySQL driver. So let me declare the driver name private string JDBC driver is equal to the MySQL driver name is com dot MySQL dot JDBC dot driver. If you are using any other databases then you need to specify that database driver name and the next thing is and I will mark this driver name with a static and final keyword because the JDBC driver name is constant and this will not change throughout this application so I will mark this with a static and final keyword so the next thing is we need a connection object so private connection connection and, and I will assign a null Again, I will mark this with a static keyword and let me import this connection from a SQL package and the next thing is we need a connection string. So let's declare our connection string. Private string connection string is equal to JDBC colon MySQL colon double slash localhost colon and your database name if you remember in our previous lecture we have created a database with the name fx demo and specify the database name and again i will mark this with a static and final keyword because this connection string is constant and this will not change throughout our application all right we have declared our jdbc driver name and also we have created a connection object and also we have declared our connection string so now let's write our connection method public void db connect and this will throws an exception throws exception and class not found exception so and i will mark this with a static keyword because i don't want to create an object to this class using Using a class name, I will call this method. So for that, I will mark this method as a static. So inside the method, I will write a try catch block because this will throw an exception. Class not found exception. I have to print a message to the user that where is your MySQL JDBC driver. We have to print the stack trace. So inside the try block class dot for name. For this we will pass our JDBC driver. So the system did not find any JDBC driver then this will throw us an exception class not found exception and it will print the message to the user so once the system finds the jdbc driver then we will tell the user that jdbc driver has been registered so now we have to get the connection from the driver manager. So inside our try block, this will throw an SQL exception and we will print the message to the user connection failed check output console. We will throw an exception. So 
Now inside the, the try block driver manager dot get connection and for this we will pass a connection string and also we will pass two more parameters that is username so username of our MySQL database and the password for MySQL database so in my case the username is root and password is a root if you have given any different username and password then you have to specify the correct username and password if the driver manager does not get the connection then this will throws an exception so this method is for getting the connection now let's write one more method to disconnect the connection or close the connection so for that public static void db disconnect and this will throw an exception called sql exception and uh, inside this we will write a try catch block and this will close an exception so inside the try block if the connection is not equal to null and not connection is closed then we will close our connection so the connection is not equal to null and not connection is closed then we will close the connection so this method is for disconnecting the connection or closing the connection these are the two common functions we will use throughout this application to open and close the connections that's all about this connection video so in our next video we will write a two more common functions for insert delete and update operations and also for getting the results from the database so thank you so much for watching i will see you in next video